So then A and B tell C, okay, you come in, okay, we are going to give you a guarantee that we will pay you a particular amount and in case we don't, then basically we are going to bear it out of our own pocket, right? So the old profit sharing ratio, which is there in this particular case, was what? It was 1 is to 1 for A and B. Or if you add these two, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2. They agreed to share profits in the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2. Some of these 3 is 3 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 8. 3 by 8, 3 by 8, 3, 2 by 8. Right? So now if you see the actual profits, what were the actual profits? The actual profits were 640,000. So the actual share of the partners, actual share of the partners out of 640,000 was 3 by 8, 3 by 8 and 2 by 8. Right? Now what is the share of actual profits that they had? Let's write it down. Share of actual profits. 3 eighths for A of 640,000. So 640,000 divided by 8 is 80,000. Each unit is 80,000. 80,000 into 3 will give you 240,000 here, 240,000 here, and 160,000 here. 160,000 actually. Right? So what is the share which C has got? C has basically received 160,000 and his minimum guarantee was 50,000. So there is no problem. A and B does not give need to give anything. But what would have happened, let's say for example, if instead of 50,000 this would have been 250,000. Right? In that case, C got 160,000. So there is a shortage which C has to recover from A and B. 